sabe? And I am back with another video. Hello. The last time I checked, kola ko na ka make ug May 2020 budyo because there's kinga reason. But I'll be uploading it real soon. Siguro di mo na ko sa kung May ug sa June. I guess so. But for today's video, nakita niyo sa title, we'll be making our own dotted bullet journal. Oi, Red, how can you make your own dotted bullet journal? Is that even possible? I'm your senpai. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own dotted bullet journal. And since it's quarantine, I'll be making it more productive, di ba? Wala na magi mo order na mga bullet journals online. And some of the bookstores kaya wala siya open. That's why I thought of making my own dotted bullet journal. And you heard it right. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make your own dotted bullet journal. If you guys are excited as much as I am, let's hop into the video. Oh my god, it's red. For the materials, we're gonna need some band papers, folders or any cardboard for the cover, some ring binder spines to put them all together. We're also gonna need scissors or cutter board, some ring binding machine with punch holes and also a printer. Step 1. Printing the pages. I found out this free on a website that lets you make custom dots and later paint it. Incombitech.com It is a dots graph paper PDF generator that lets you adjust the dot size, the grid spacing, and you can also change the dot color into anything that you desire. Your notebook can be a combination of black, red, and pink dots, anything you like. They also have different print patterns specifically for writing and bullet journaling, such as boxes, cross grid, triangle dots, hex dots, and more. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Just wanted to share the website because it's free and it's convenient to use. Step 2. Cutting the pages. My goal is to make a pocket-sized notebook that I can carry on easily. So I decided to cut the folio page that I printed on with dots into 4 parts. Here I am using a cutter board. But if you don't have any, you can use a pair of scissors to separate the sheets evenly. Step 3. Make a cover. Get the folder or any cardboard you wanted to use as your cover. Cut it in a size proportionate to your leaf. In my case, since I divided the folio size into 4 parts, my cover will be the same. Step 4 is to punch some holes. Since I have here my ring binder puncher, I made use of it. And if say you how you don't have any punch hole binders like mine, you can use an office puncher, katong duha ka book holes, or any sharp objects that can create a hole. Step 5 binding. Here I am using my plastic binder spine to bind them all together.
I am not gonna show you how to do it kay this is not a good tutorial for it but basically kana siya ang ibuhat and here is my almost finished bujo no book yes I'll be cutting the spine pa para ma-even siya step 6 is to print your cover page to make the notebook presentable and eye-pleasing, I printed some aesthetic wallpapers. And since I customized my cover page, kanang butangan siya o picture inside, I printed a lot of wallpapers. Ano mo siya? This front page is inspired by a Polaroid print. Yes, you can store all the memories there. If you wanted, if you feel like going to the beach, you can change it into a different wallpaper. And that aesthetic wallpaper that I'm talking about literally a while ago, I searched them all on Pinterest. Pinterest provides you photos na grabe ka Instagramable like worthy of being in the front page. Mota siya. <laughs> and since I have a lot of favorites, I printed them all. Tara siya tanan. And this is the finished product. Kabaluba mo, I customized this notebook out of boredom and I can use this every day if I wanted to write a special quote or if I had something in my mind Ako siya yung der, ano? It is for an everyday use kay Dahangin siya It is 100 pages plus and nang nakaninyot lang niya kay It appears like a bujo data journal And on the back part, I made a small pocket Clip it small I made a pocket for the cover or for the photos that I printed as a wallpaper or as a front cover for my notebook so that whenever I feel like changing it it's just a liquid that's just it this will be the end of this video I hope you guys like this and if you did, make sure to give me a massive thumbs up, smash the like button, and if you like this video, and if you like videos like this and bullet journal videos, subscribe this up. And I wanted to see your uh, no doubt that bullet journal nagihimo karun or will be making in the future. You can upload it on our Facebook group that is Bullet Journal Philippines. Don't forget to join and then upload your uh, no dotted bullet journal na DIY. I wanted to see those. Yes. What is that? This will be the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it and all that. Hope you'll be making your own bullet journal because it's quarantine. Why not make it more productive, di ba? What ay buhat and let's make na lang in ani. Magamit sa nato. Keep you guys in. Makita kita ratapuhon. Makita kita ratapuhon. And I'll see you guys real soon.